In this video, I want to focus in on the denominator of Bayes' rule and explain how we can actually calculate this seemingly quite difficult thing. Okay, the way in which we can calculate the denominator here is by recognizing the relationship between the numerator, or the first part of the numerator here, and the denominator. If we write out both terms and compare them, we've got the probability of data given a particular value of theta and given a choice of model. And we're comparing this with the probability of data. And now we're solely conditioning on model choice. So when we write it like this, we see that essentially what we've done is we've removed this theta dependence for the denominator. And we know that essentially what that actually means is, is it means that this thing on the right hand side here is what we call a marginal probability density. It just looks a little bit more complicated because we're still conditioning on model choice. And this is just our conditional probability. And we know how to get from the conditional to the marginal. It depends exactly on whether we're dealing with a discrete or a continuous choice of theta. But essentially what we need to do is we need to integrate or sum out the or across all potential values of theta. So I want to talk about how we do that in both the discrete and later on in the continuous case. So we know that it's easy enough to get the marginal in the discrete case. The probability of the data given a choice of model here is just the sum over all potential values which theta can take on. So theta here is assumed to sort of lie in all the potential values defined by sort of capital theta here. And all we need to do is we need to sum over the prior density, so the probability of theta given choice of model, times the probability of the data given our choice of theta and given our model choice. And this formula here has quite a lot of intuition. This term here is what we call a likelihood. And this term here is what we call a prior. So it's just essentially the sum across all values of theta of the numerator, the entire numerator now, because now we're also including the prior. And it's the weighted sum of likelihoods where the weights are actually provided by our prior intuition as to what would be the probability that we would ascribe to that particular value of theta. So in that sense, it makes quite a lot of sense because we're just weighting them by which value of theta do we think a priori is most likely. So that's the discrete case. What's the continuous one? Well, the case where theta is continuous is just pretty much the same, except now we need to deal with the continuous analog of the sum, which is just an integral. So now we integrate across, again, all values which theta is allowed to take on. And we just integrate across our prior. So now our prior is a continuous PDF opposed to before where it's kind of like a probability mass function times the probability of our data given our choice of theta and given our model choice. In other words, our likelihood. And now we're just integrating over all choice of theta. But again, it is essentially all I'm doing is I am weighting each of the likelihoods by our prior probability, which we would ascribe to that particular value of theta. So in both cases, it's kind of a weighted sum. And that makes intuitive sense when we actually think about the thing we're actually trying to derive. We're trying to derive the probability that we would have obtained that data given our model choice. And we need to think about all the different ways that we could have got that data given our choice of model. So we need to think about all of the potential values of theta that could result in that particular data being generated. But then we need to weight each of those particular sort of likelihoods of the data being generated from that model and that particular theta choice by our prior sort of weight, which we ascribe to the likelihood of actually having that value of theta before we actually do the experiment in the first place. 